out. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. Then talk to them. Not like they're out to bite you. If they do, I'll bite back. So what's the problem? I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor, but the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then. And we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the Lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over what you've heard, what you fear. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... Let's get some fresh air. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. I could use a little rest myself. Good idea. Get some sleep. Geralt? Geralt, wake up. Uh, what? Yen? Something wrong? Wake up. Sit with us a while. Triss? You here too? What's, uh, going on? We need to tell you something. You two are acting strange. Us? No. Yen and I, well, we talked and concluded... That we've wasted much too much time fighting over you. Meanwhile, we'll probably soon face the Wild Hunt. Most likely battle Aridin himself, and who knows what could happen. So, we decided we must try to make the most of the time we have left. Together. I don't like this. You soon will. We've always loved each other. You're in love with us. There's no point in fighting it. We must enjoy what we have. 
So, we've prepared something special. Come by the Kingfisher this evening. Bring wine. Lots of wine. See you later, love. I can't wait. This will be interesting. I'd lost hope that you'd appear. We couldn't wait for you to show. What about me? Don't I get any? You just got exactly what you deserve. Hey, this isn't funny. Come back. Triss, Yang. did quite a number on you. You know about this? No, they didn't tell me till this morning. A shame, really, because it looks like you had a roaring good time. Dandelion. All right, all right. Sorry, don't often see you like this. Couldn't resist. So. How do you feel? A bit numb, I bet. Triss and Yen, where are they? Got something to say to them. Oh, Geralt. How little you know about women. Did you really think you could have them both? You have a great deal to learn. Glad to give you some advice if you want. Think I'll pass. I'm off to see Avalok. Wanted a word, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> 